What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Come back. We got the old camera out and did a little photography and I'll tell you the backstory on all of it. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well and hope everybody's having a great day. Um, backstory of this whole photography trip we took. Um, CJ had a project in her, let me get this straight, her art history AP class that she's taken this semester. Uh, she had to go find one government building, old building, should we say historic building, and one historic religious building. So we got on the interwebs and looked around a little bit and we found such places in Lebanon, Tennessee, which is just right up the road for me and here in my county of Wilson County. Okay, so the first place we went to was Lebanon's first post office. Uh, the cornerstone was laid in October of 1913 and the building was completed 18 months later in April of 1915. Now this signified Lebanon's growth as a major city or a small town uh, back then. Um, the post office did operate up until 1963 when a newer, more modern post office was built, which is still used to this day. But anyway, so we're going to roll in the footage of, or the, the photos that I took at the Lebanon post office for you now. <music> Okay, as you can see, I am starting to learn Lightroom. I downloaded Light or got into the Lightroom stuff here uh, about a month ago. So I'm using Lightroom to edit my photos. Now I will say one of the things I, I'm still learning, so give me a little break on the pictures, but I I've got my my quirks I'm trying to work around and that kind of stuff, but I just wanted something a little bit better. Than what I had was which was a free thing and so I got this and I'm really liking the way it works um, you can just get more fine detail in the pictures um, so anyway on to the next section of pictures I took so the next one I took and I'm gonna read this verbatim because I don't want any of this wrong um, the next place we went to which was religious building which was a church in Lebanon uh, that dates back a lot further than the post office there. The history behind Pickett's Chapel, which you'll be seeing the photos here shortly, begins with the first Methodist congregation in Lebanon, which was white and or white and black organized in 1812. In 1827, the congregation financed the construction of a permanent meeting house on Market Street. While the architect and builder were, uh, is unknown, the physical construction of the building was accomplished by enslaved African Americans, many of whom would also come to worship at the chapel. Services conducted at Pickett Chapel with white and black congregation until 1856 when the white congregation outgrew the chapel and had a larger ch church built one block southeast of main street there's a lot more history behind this church that we're fixing to show the pictures on and i'm actually going to leave a link to the website down below it's really interesting to read uh, if you get into the history of that kind of stuff now I found it I found it really fascinating I really did that this church saw 
the Civil War and kept on going. So one thing's for sure, the Civil War divided people in a lot of places, but it did not end this church. So go back, go if you get a chance, go down to the bottom. Like I said, I'll leave the link to their thing. They're actually still trying to raise money to restore it. It is in bad shape. Uh, Structure-wise, I think they've got it structurally sound for now, but they are going to be doing some other work to it eventually. Uh, they are still raising more money for it, so hopefully that happens. And I just think any, I don't care what kind of history it is, whether you know where it falls, we need to preserve it as much of it as we can because one day it may all be gone anyway. So, anyways, guys, go down there and check it out. Let's roll in those photos. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the photos of the church. A really neat building. Um, you think about that building built, was built in 1812 or 1827. And you think about the construction of it. Most of your churches in the south were always the old white wooden churches uh, that you see in all the back in the little towns around here. This one was solid brick, so it kind of, kind of threw me there when I first saw it, and they were saying that this was exactly how it was built. I mean, this was it. This is the building. It's never been scathed by a tornado or anything. Yes, they've done some filling in of brick here and there to keep the place going. They've done, you know, it's it's had some work done to it to stabilize it, but to see how they built this church back then was pretty impressive to me. Um, just goes to show the heart of a man going into that building um, was really something. So um, I, I appreciate you watching this and let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. I may do some more of these down the road. Um, Maybe more of a winter time, more of a winter time type deal where we go and visit places like this. Um, I'm all up for, you know, anything historical. I love history. Big history buff. But I also like being able to preserve it on film or disc, whatever you want to call it, on a little card. But putting it out there on the world so that someday if somebody is looking up this kind of stuff, maybe they run across my video and my pictures or maybe they run across somebody else's pictures or they run across this website. You know, it's always anything to preserve history because god knows we we are losing history every now and then and we shouldn't touch it no matter what it's done history teaches us what not to do and where we should go that's the way i feel bad good and indifferent whether it be um, slavery back during the 1800s whether it be nazis back in the wars, whether it be, you know, whatever, we, we can't get away from it. We need to learn from our mistakes and preserve those. Yes, I, I know sometimes it has feelings for people, but erasing history doesn't solve a thing. It's what you do in your heart is what solves the problems. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Sorry, didn't mean to get on tangent. But I appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate all the support I get from you guys. It's well noted. Trust me, it's well noted. We will see you on the next one. And probably, maybe be a camping video by then. We'll see. There is a trip coming. Be prepared. See you on the next one.